Happy Sunday, welcome back. Right, this week is beam lifting week. We have got the biggest oak tree that we need to try and lift into the roof of our new house extension. So, can we do it? <laughs> Um, getting a bit nervous about the beams going in. Beam week. It's D -day. I'm excited. When are they coming tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I'm excited. We've got a good team. Yeah. Very strong friends. Yes. We've um, hand hand selected, interviewed, <laughs> tested them, and they're ready. Her boots have survived, haven't they? They have. Let's see them. Woo! <laughs> More supple, More but supple apparently we should ever. add a bit of vinegar to help it dry quickly. Yeah, so thank you for that. Um, so yes, sorry, excuse my coughing fits. I've got a cold and I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself today. Um, <coughs> <laughs> big day tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm nervous. A little bit nervous, but I think we can do it. Well, we're paying them in coffee and bacon sandwiches, yeah. so I'm hoping. But you've got the um, support up, I've got ready. the bridge up, ready, yeah. So yeah, fingers and toes crossed. So I'm going to take a pause from filling in my gaps in the snug with cement. We got whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you many carry comments. On. So yes, we are using cement, but as I said, we are only doing it on internal walls where there's an inside room against an inside room, no outside wall. Because obviously you only get condensation where cold air meets warmer. And obviously the inside of the house will all be warmer and it won't condensate. So there won't be any damp walls because of the cement there. Lime between the inside and the outside and the cement we've got at the moment, we're just using on inside to inside. But yes, very good noticing. But well noticed. Well noticed, yeah, absolutely. But so yes, we're just using it on those few walls, aren't we? Yes. I really enjoyed it though. So I'm gonna get back to that hopefully at the end of the week. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna spend about 40 minutes just panicking about these beams going in. <laughs> Um, I think you've measured it, you've checked it, you leveled it. A triple check, 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 so, check, check on the triple check, check. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got a bit of tidying up to do and wait for our friends to get here tomorrow. Wish us luck. Right, so the sun is out and shining. We have a house full of people ready to move these beams. Um, it's gonna be fun. I've got bacon sandwiches ready, coffee's ready. Um, let's see if we can actually do it. It's a steal and it's also the best slide ever. Chixi's got her friend Alex here. Are you gonna lift the steel up, Alex? So the tree is here. So as you saw last week, we've got the support up here, which we're gonna hopefully slide the beam across and then remove the support is the plan. Um, will you grab my stapler? Right, now is the moment of the log going in. Halfway in. 
Do you have a lift that push? Oh, sorry. This side up. Yeah. So I can't see that end, but can you see the, the flat bit? Yeah, it's about to just cut another hole in the um, waterproof bit there. Okay, so it wants to be for to the post to come through. So it needs to be Beam. about 30 mil of a gap between this lip and the wall plate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's, that's that's where Badger just drew the line here. Okay. Yeah, so I reckon that's about right. We can shuffle it around after that. Yeah, but anyway, now it can just sit down, no? If yeah, so it should just go down now. Which yeah. one do you want to do first? Shall we do that one? Woo! <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks, guys. That looks great. Looks mega. Thanks, team. Right, so beam number one is up, which is epic. We are now planning how to get the next steel up here. So the steel's going across here, which will be above the bifolds. Look at Bonnie. Like you walk in the park. Oh, wow! Oh, right, so oh. you, keep, you keep going, you're right, Jürgen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. go around now, go back towards the air. Keep that handy, that's it. You've got to do that. Happy? Yeah. You're in? Yeah. Right. Okay, to grab that, you can go back. This is what I imagine is a lot of overhead. Music. Right, now he's on that end. Come towards this, come this way, Jack. Back to you. Right, back towards here. Back towards here. Yeah, that's, that's maximum. Right. So, lift up, lift up, uh, lift up. Oh my god, lift up. Fingertips. Okay. Okay, let it down. Right. So we'll hold that still. Can we have that plate? Yeah, that's a good idea. This? Yeah. Yeah. Let's work out, Andy. This is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You look like a monkey in the dragon book. Actually, you have to do that. Yeah, you have to open it. Hang on. Uh, do you want to come up here, Martin? Lift yeah. it with the yoga and I'll do it. No, no, you've got to undo it, Sandy. You've got to undo it. You stay there. You've got there with the yoga. And then I'll, I'll undo the strap. Oh. Alright, how are you doing, Pierre? Yeah, I'm still like 20 in, so... Okay. Right, shall we? Hang on, quite Well done, Andy, my strongest friend. And while we had all these strong people around, I thought I'd be a bit cheeky and ask them to move the caravan too. So that's lots of jobs ticked off. Now time for a well-earned cup of coffee and a baking sunny. Oh my gosh, so our beautiful beam is in. Thank you to our extremely strong, wonderful friends. Look at it, it looks incredible. And I think it's even going to pop even more once we've obviously got all our roof done properly um, and boarded up and stuff, but it looks amazing. It's hard to see when there's so many other pieces of wood, but once they're all covered up, 
apart from these guys. Doot, doot, doot. It's going to really stand out, I think. And look amazing. <laughs> So beams are up, beams are up, beams are up. Very exciting. Um, Badger is now going to chainsaw the, obviously they're circular, the beam is circular. So it sticks out of the roof a bit. So he needs to chainsaw it flat um, so we can put the tiles on. So that is the next job to do now. <laughs> Then I can recover it and weather it. Amazing. Huh? <laughs> I just said to Batcher, do you want me to go get your guitar? He was like, what? <laughs> I meant you chainsaw. taking the dogs for a walk um, down to the river and there is a wall that I have been dying to expose for well since we moved here really and I didn't get around to it last year and I have just treated myself to some new snippers so I know I've got 10,000 and million jobs that are way more important for example build a house but sometimes you just got to scratch that itch and yeah, spend a bit of time in nature. So I am going to hopefully expose this wall um, from the brambles. Probably not the most productive job, but who cares? As you can see there, it's absolutely jam-packed full of brambles. They're very thin and I just really want to expose this wall. I thought, what a perfect day. Look, there's a waterfall up there. The water is just flowing around. So yeah, let's get it done.
so my phone died yesterday while I when I finished the trimming but it means I can come through badge in my naked wall. I'm excited. I'm excited. There we go. Look at that wall. Isn't it amazing? It's so cool. Yeah. And like I said yesterday, it's not exactly a high priority job, but it's something that I've been wanting to do, well, since like, ages. last <laughs> ages, I keep going on about it. So I'm glad I just did it. Had a couple of hours to myself in the forest, um, filled my cup up again. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And now we get to show off that incredible wall that I don't know how they built years ago um, without any tractors. So much bigger. So much bigger, isn't it? It's really wide now. <laughs> so this waterfall here shouldn't be here it's when our neighbors change their water direction can you see up there oh that one up there and then it floods down this terrace and onto this terrace so yeah we need to change that but this one here is apparently a drinking spring but we need to check the quality of the water but we can actually see it now which is amazing what a big and there we go that's it for this week i am just so so happy that we have got the beam the steel moved the caravan did some trimming um yeah a very productive week firstly a massive thank you to our friends who came and helped because well we couldn't have done it without you um and thank you for everyone who has been watching it's very much appreciated and um, we've had loads of questions about crumbles yes and i keep meaning to say we have been house sitting house sitting for the last few weeks um in the village just up the road which has been such a welcome break from the bus um i've managed to empty the bus with washing all the curtains and kind of really resetting for spring which is just such a dream um so he's up in the house with us living his best life um but yes he's very happy and he'll be back down on the land with us in a week or so next week i believe we are cracking on with the roof the children will be around because they're off for a few days for carnival which is very exciting um but yeah all systems go now we've got the beams it really means that we can crack on with the next stage so if you do enjoy our videos please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment um and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed anyway we will see you next week at the same time